Welcome, fellow seekers of the supernatural, to a journey into the unknown. Today on the Phantom Files podcast, we delve into the chilling phenomenon known as the Ghost Paper Challenge. A seemingly innocent game that has led many astray into the depths of fear and despair. Is it really just an entertaining pastime, or is it an incredibly dangerous practice that ruins lives? For those unfamiliar with the Ghost Paper Challenge, it is a ritual that supposedly allows one to communicate with spirits through handwritten messages on a piece of paper. But a word of caution, anything involving contact with the supernatural will always involve risks of great peril. The game can be played alone or in a group. The challenge must be done with a closed door that will not be opened until sunrise. The participant must gather paper, a pencil, and a candle. The game must begin at exactly midnight or exactly 3 a.m. You may ask the spirit three questions. Ensure the candle is lit and placed near your position at the door. Keep your interaction respectful and polite. As soon as the clock turns on to either of these times, you must knock on the closed door three times. The spirit behind the door, I welcome you. Please come and speak with me. Write your question on a piece of paper and slide it halfway under the door. Place the pen or pencil on top when you slide. Now, wait. You may ask one question at a time. If there is no movement, you failed to summon a spirit, but should repeat the final chant as a precaution. If the paper slides back and your question answered, then you have been successful. You may ask two more questions. If the answers are uncomfortable or frightening, immediately end the session by repeating the final chant. The final chant is simple. You knock again three times and say, thank you, spirit. Time to go home. Goodbye. And then extinguish the candle. Remember to leave the door closed until daylight. Some participants aren't so lucky when they take the ghost paper challenge. Here are some of their stories. A group of five curious teenagers decided to test the boundaries of the unknown in a quiet suburban home. They had no idea their innocent game would unleash a malevolent force that would haunt them for years to come. They failed to show the proper respect and deliberately tried to provoke the entity. Their laughter quickly turned to terror because what they summoned refused to leave. The final chant didn't work. The entity they unwittingly summoned was a demon. Within a year, two were dead. The survivors move from place to place, but the entity always finds them. They're each still trapped in a nightmare of their own making. Friends, it doesn't end there. Another chilling account is of a lone skeptic who dared to challenge the spirits. He dismissed the warnings as mere superstition and decided he'd invent his own rules. The spirit he summoned grew enraged with his lack of respect and open provocation. He attempted the challenge with his closet door. The next morning, his family found only a bloody trail leading into his closet, as if someone injured was dragged into it. But he was gone. The closet looked perfectly normal. He's been missing since. The tragedy proved even the greatest skeptics are not immune to the forces lurking beyond the veil. Another instance involved a group of thrill-seekers. They decided to test their bravery by attempting the ghost paper challenge in the dilapidated halls of an abandoned mansion. They brought only the most essential supplies because they assumed it would be quick and they could return home. Unfortunately, no one in the group researched the old home. An exorcism had taken place in the structure in the 1960s and whatever possessed 10-year-old Alyssa Montgomery still roamed the halls. No one had been able to live there since. They chose the parlor door to play the game. They lit the candle, spoke the introduction, and slid the paper under the door. No one has firmly established what happened next, but the door burst open and off its hinges. What they summoned was not just a mere spirit nor a single demon. It was a legion of them. Each one of the four was targeted and tormented until daybreak. The only thing that saved them was the neighbors who awoke to screams coming from the house. The authorities had to rescue the group. Two of the four had hair that turned white. None have ever fully recovered from the ordeal, and it has been over a decade. Another terrible event happened with a lone adventurer. A man decided to attempt the challenge with an old cemetery gate. He'd lost his friend of many years and believed he could summon their spirit. He never had the chance to tell them goodbye, unfortunately. His friend was not amid the spirits there, nor were the spirits content to play a game. They were deeply disturbed and intent on destroying the stranger. The practitioner was thrown around and barely escaped the graveyard. He had a double concussion and had to get 50 stitches over his body. True, he escaped with his life, but he would be forever haunted by the spirits that had nearly killed him. The ghost paper challenge may seem like harmless fun, but its consequences can be dire. So, I implore you, tread carefully in your quest for the unknown. Once you open the door to the spirit world, there may be no turning back. Until next time, remember, curiosity killed the cat.
and it can unleash something far more sinister when it comes to the supernatural. This is just a reminder to subscribe to enjoy our growing collection of paranormal content. Don't forget to like your favorite episode and ring the bell to be notified of new content. As always, thanks for watching.